nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for the... Good morning, good morning, guys! How's everybody today? It is a fine Monday morning. Yes, it is. It is gorgeous out here today. Nice and sunshine. We love it. We love it. And we want some more of it. Yes, that's right. We want some more of it. That's right. Anyways, we are back on the road again. We had a fantastic weekend. Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. Definitely had a good weekend, that's for sure. Yeah, we got the safety done on the truck. Everything is working good. We're just happy as can be. The truck is working good. Oh, yeah. We are on the way to uh, Michigan. We're going to the Detroit, Michigan area. It's a little bit of a tight schedule to get there, but hey, we will get there eventually, right? Yeah, it's a two full day worth of driving that I have to do. So we're gonna have to put the hammer down. Yep, we're gonna have to drive our maximum uh, hours, that's for sure. Well, we're just about to hit the border here. Only about probably seven miles, maybe. And we'll be at the border. Yes, sir, Bob. Well, we'll see what kind of day we will have today. So far, everything is going just smoothly. But you never know, right? Things can change just like that in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, very easily things can change. But that's always keep our fingers crossed that we're going to have an awesome day. Yeah. What to say? I managed to uh, polish my rims this weekend. We uh, went to some friend's place, had a nice barbecue over at their house. We really did. And we wanted to have some more, uh, wanted to get together with some more people, but uh, they were sick. Two of them. On Friday night, we was gonna go get together with a couple and. Uh, they were sick, and because of our daughter, we decided not to get together with anybody that's sick. Because our daughter at this time of the year, uh, it's very dangerous, you know. If anybody's got the flu or got whatever sick, then uh, she picks that up just like that. Last year and the previous years, at this time of the year, she's been sick. And it's landed here in the hospital, so we gotta be super, super careful at this time of the year. Because this is the time where the flu starts going around up here in Canada, because it's where it's getting cold and people don't put jackets on or it's cold or whatever, you know, because it's a little bit cool. So, uh, you know, my daughter picks that up. She gets lung infection right away. She gets pneumonia. So we gotta be super, super careful that she doesn't get in touch with anybody that's got the flu or anything like that. So otherwise she picks that up just like that. And she might be ended up, ending up in the hospital again, you know? We don't want that, so. Anyways, let's go down to the border here. kilometers, turn right on Main Street, Highway 310. And then we'll see you guys on the other side somewhere. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you're having a blessed day today. And 
uh, we appreciate you watching us, riding along with us on our daily life. And not always on a truck, but uh, it's my daily life. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Whatever I'm up to, I will try and show it to you. Now, I don't have something interesting every single day, but we do try very hard to make it interesting for you. So stick around and we'll see what we'll be able to show you for the rest of the day. This is it. Welcome to Minnesota. Yeah. Now we are officially in Minnesota, the United States of America. Yeah. Let's put my sunglasses on. I'm starting to get a little bit bright out there. Yep, man. I was gonna tell you guys a little bit about my story there on Friday when I had my fifth wheel uh, or my safety finished off, you know. Like as you guys probably know from this last week's video, I had to replace my fifth wheel. Well, the fifth wheel has got a cylinder in there to pull out pins that hold the fifth wheel in place. You can actually move the fifth wheel forward or backwards on a track and when they replaced my fifth wheel that particular fifth wheel wouldn't pull out the pin so I could move my fifth wheel I actually needed the fifth wheel to be moved a little bit uh, backwards because I had a little bit too much weight on my steering axle when I was filled uh, full bit uh, that's a full tank of fuel you know if I'm like halfway it's no big deal but if I was a uh, full tank of fuel I was actually overweight on my steering, so uh, I wasn't able to move my fifth wheel there last week. So on Friday, when I uh, brought the truck back over to Integrity to uh, finish off my safety, they uh, said it's an electric switch that uh, opens up the valve to uh, let the air go to my fifth wheel. It was probably shot, so I said, okay, well then replace it, right? So they put a new one on there and boom right away my fuse burned out on the, on the, that particular switch and so uh, they weren't sure why it was doing that so they uh, took another switch and built another switch put another switch in it and replaced the fuse everything was good to go so now we're able to move our fifth wheel I did that this morning I adjusted it to where I needed it to be and uh, then I did my pre-trip and I really feel good about this I uh, you know not everybody checks everything all the time you know and uh, so uh, I mean I don't check everything all the time either you know I, I, I miss things too but just today happened to be one of those days where I did a really good job in the inspection I think anyways I uh, I almost never check my air horn or anything like that, you know, I mean, I, you're supposed to, but, you know, I use your air horn almost every day sometimes, you know, and I didn't really feel the need to check it every morning, so uh, this morning I decided to check it, and voila, my air horn wasn't working, and on a Volvo, it's actually an electric air horn, also the other horn, uh, horn you got a small horn and a big horn and uh, both of them weren't working so I'm like what that's weird so uh, I opened up my fuse box and sure enough one of the fuse was burned out so I don't know if it happened like when they had that faulty switch put in if that had something to do with it or not I don't know for sure but I replaced the fuse and huh? sounds good right now we got air horn again so I felt really good <laughs> about doing an actual inspection this morning you know like doing an, a good inspection this morning so anyways that's about all I got for now anyway so I guess we'll just continue on with our journey and 
Have ourselves a fantastic day. Well, guys, the sun is starting to go down. Yeah, it's starting to get dark. But we are in Wisconsin on I-94 eastbound and down. Yeah. We are getting very close to uh, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Yeah, but we will continue on a little bit further. We got about 53 miles to go. That's where we're going to be calling it a day. We'll be in Toma, Wisconsin. And we had uh, 578 miles to go there just before I told the GPS to get me up to there. So we should have just a little bit over, should probably have about 520 miles to go tomorrow. And then we should be already in uh, our location where we should be delivering the day after, I suppose. Yeah. But anyways, we are just cruising along here and just... We had a very, very nice day today. We really did. It's been nice cruising along on the highway here. Nothing really affected me from being able to do my job. And just been giving her. Yeah. I don't know where we're going to be fueling up yet. I still have about a, just over a quarter of a tank of fuel. So I think I can make it down to South Beloit, Illinois to fuel up over there. So I'll probably wait till I get over there to fuel up, which will be tomorrow. And we'll fuel this baby up there tomorrow. I only had a half a tank of fuel when I left this morning, or just a little bit over a half a tank. So I've been doing pretty good on fuel, it looks like. Because I already got like, well, probably about 530 miles behind me already. And I'm still a little bit above a quarter of a tank. So, I'm doing pretty good, I think. Oh, yeah. Anyways, we'll uh, make it over there to our truck stop here in the next few. Well, I guess not in the next few. I'm probably in the next 50 minutes. But I figured, well sun is starting to go down so get one little bit, bit of a clip in here before the sun is down i really don't do too much at night filming especially up here in the u.s you know but there's always traffic coming from the front so i can't really put my high beams on or anything like that to uh to make it uh where you can see something on front so Anyways, let's continue on and I will see you guys over there. Most likely, if nothing happens from here to there, right? My day is just about over, guys. Yes, it is. We made it as far as Tomaha, Wisconsin. And yeah, we're putting a video together right now, which will be released today, which was a week ago. But hey, that's okay. I had a very special video at that time and uh, now we're done we are done I got me a haircut over the weekend if you guys haven't noticed I suppose you guys have but I figured I mentioned it anyways right <laughs> yeah we got about 525 miles to go tomorrow to our delivery place which I don't think we can quite go all the way there because there's no parking there so We'll probably have to stop outside of Detroit, Michigan. And Dixter, probably. That's the town that's called Dixter. I don't know why they came up with that name, but hey, that's what it's called. And uh, that's where we will probably be spending the night tomorrow night. But uh, by the time you watch it, I'll be out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, it's been a good day. I had a good day's worth of driving in today. I never thought I would get this much in today. I had over 900 kilometers in today. I think like 930 kilometers or something like that. So it's been a good day. That's for sure. I closed my curtains up already because uh, I'm just finishing off this video and I'm going to bed. Yeah, I'm done for today. So I finished... Uh, 
finished my video putting together my video and all that good stuff so uh, so yeah we're uh, just fixing to go to bed here so anyways that's about all I got for today's video hope you enjoyed it if you did give me that thumbs up share the video and if you are new to our channel or if you just haven't uh, quite made up your mind if you uh, want to subscribe to my channel well we would love to have you on board oh yes we would and if you uh, maybe saw something interesting on today's video or if you just like to say hi there's a comment section down there below where you can do that yes everybody can come on here and comment say hi good morning good day have a safe day out there or something like that you know so with that have a good one everybody and we will be sure to have you on my channel tomorrow again yes sir Bob. good night behind me that day is gonna come I'm breaking the walls down